This is Tony Hendrick with Painting Spirit. And today I'm going to talk about experimenting. That's a little guy with an explosion in front of him. Um, last, I guess it was last Monday, I took a little break. Um, I'm starting a new project, new job, and wanted to have that yet last week to be able to focus on it. Focus is a big deal for me. Um, so I tend to like to have my focus in one place, at least until I get used to whatever new is going on and anyway when I was talking last week I started it out Jeez, I can't even remember what the topic was um, but what I had done is decided to read a quote from Ted Andrews and I think I was talking well I don't even remember what the the subject was but it was kind of a concept and a lot of times I talk about concepts so that's not anything new it's just the the reading it and reading the quote while trying to paint. <laughs> anyway, I was experimenting. Let's just put it that way. And so it got me thinking about experimenting and with art. Um, and how I think of it, it, it really does, have, it falls in line with what I keep talking about with getting out of the mind and into that state of being where you're just in the flow and and playing around and and having fun. I live in Michigan and I'm sure many many people who live in Michigan have gone to Greenfield Village and even if you don't live in Michigan I'm sure you've heard the quote from Thomas Edison. Um I looked it up, so I'm going to actually read again while painting. <laughs> I have not failed 10,000 times. I have not failed once. I have succeeded in prov proving that those 10,000 ways will not work. When I have eliminated the ways that will not work, I find the way that will work. To me, that that is the spirit of creating and it also one of the things that when I went to Greenfield Village that they talked about was Thomas Edison taking naps was an important part of his process and I thought it was really cool to learn that because what it shows is that he was in tune to this part of himself that answers would come, not necessarily from the mind, but letting go of the mind. And so his naps were important part of his process like a 10 minute nap or something in the afternoons and don't quote me on that I'm just going on memory here I didn't really research this so when experimenting I find it and it feels like just reading that quote from 
Thomas Edison that feels this way to me too, that it's a focus and testing things out and testing things out is basically based in, well, I don't know. I don't know, so test this out. And I think in the age of Google and the internet, Wikipedia, there's this kind of thing that happens in our minds where we think that everything is known and it's just a click away. Also, I'm sure we've been brought up, maybe made fun of if we didn't know an answer to something or if we were exploring something and did something wrong, get in trouble for it, that kind of thing. So there can be a tendency to have a little bit of skepticism about experimenting. Hesitation towards it. And it really does come from a place of allowing yourself to make mistakes and enjoy the process of correcting the mistakes too. That can be a big part of it. And the key to that quote is, I've not failed once. So this new job that I'm starting, there's a aspect of it that I'm having to get prepared for it. Part of that preparation is organizing my vehicle to be able to store the equipment that I'm going to be using and also when I'm not, when the equipment's not in the vehicle, it's going to be stored. My I don't have my property and I wanted to have a good way to store it. It's going to be safe for it and take good care of it. I spent a lot of time thinking about how I was going to accomplish this. And my mind kind of went into this realm of trying to figure it all out before I actually started experimenting. And it's part of something I've done in the past quite a bit is get into trying to get everything worked out ahead of time. What I've found is that it doesn't always equal the most efficient way use of my time. What I, and anyway, so I was finding myself going down that road, what I've done in the past, trying to figure things out ahead of time. I recognized it. I decided just not to give it that much credence and attention. One of the aspects to that is just it didn't feel good. It just was getting kind of, I felt myself getting kind of tired thinking about all the possibilities of how I was going to set, set my vehicle up. Anyway, Decided to just go get the equipment. And 
and experiment. What I ended up finding out with my experiment, it was very easy. <laughs> there wasn't a whole lot that I needed to do. And things actually worked out really well for the way that I set myself up. And the storage, too, is very much the same way. I spent a lot of time thinking about the best way to do it, the best location, and all, and maybe building something. And that ended up being very simple. Because I actually just physically went out and explored it experimented wasn't a whole lot of experimenting that needed to happen but the point is that I got out of my mind and just physically went to the place I needed to go I think with art it can be that way today I decided to get myself back into Doing the painting spirit by doing an abstract painting. I'm just playing kind of different, experimenting with color again. Maybe a different way of using color. I forgot to set my timer, so I just looked at the clock, make sure I'm not going overboard with my time here. So I'll be back back uh, doing these at 7 a.m. for now. The weather's changing. Things are getting warmer outside. And part of this project that I'm starting is going to get me outside and out on nature trails, exploring. And so it's possible I might take these painting spirit out on the trail with me and that might change the time that I do these we'll find out for now 7 a.m. and about this week we'll, all, we'll both focus on experimenting a little bit seeing if we can find new ways of doing things bring new things in to our routine allow the physical to be a part of that process of experimenting get out of the mind play around have fun And how about we see you tomorrow? Take care. It's fun to be back.